Hey guys, so today's video is for anyone who is interested in using Horizons theme blocks and Horizons AI block generator in an older theme such as Dawn. As you can see here, I'm not even using a recent version of Dawn, uh, but I have access to the block generator, which is only in Horizon currently. And I also have some custom third party blocks that, that I've built myself and some AI generated blocks that I've just generated. So as you can see, here we have a scrolling marquee and here is a, a custom block which is a horizon style theme block because we can actually add blocks inside of this block we have block nesting right so if i make this one red so that you can see and then i can add yet another block inside this and currently all we have is you know these these two blocks that i made so just for an example you can see that i can put a block inside a block so these are not dawn blocks these are definitely horizon era or horizon generation theme blocks now this is possible because of this custom section that i installed to my dawn theme and this is just an empty section it's very simple the code is up on my blog and you'll find a link in the description and you can copy and paste this to your theme so i'm just going to walk you through how to do that right now and give you a little bit more context about how this works. All right, so to explain how this works, I'm just gonna switch over quickly to Horizon theme so that you can understand like how it's supposed to work. As you can see, we've got Horizon. We have like, you know, sections with groups and everything, lots of nesting. Uh, these ones with the lightning bolts, these are custom sections that I've built that I sell on my store, Shop Ed Codes. Anyone who's followed me for a while probably knows that I, that I sell these custom sections. Well, now I've been converting them into blocks. And some of them, the breadcrumbs, for example, you can see that I'm using them here because in Horizon, you can just use blocks anywhere you want, which is awesome. I put the breadcrumbs here instead of where I usually put them in Dawn, which is in a section just under the header, right? Uh, but let's say we wanted to do that in Horizon. What we would do is add a section and they have this custom section that is empty. This custom section in Horizon is used for when you don't really wanna use any of these sections that are actually for a specific purpose. It's just a generic empty wrapper section. And then you can add blocks inside of here. So any blocks that you have, um, any generated blocks, right? And any third party blocks, such as my breadcrumbs, you can add inside here, right? And so that's really what got me thinking about this custom section. Why can't we take this and move that to Horizon? And that's essentially what I did. I just had a look at the, uh, the code of this section and I cleared out all the settings because we don't need these and these are not gonna work anyway on Dawn. The CSS is completely different, right? But the concept of this section that allows for blocks inside it, that's gonna work. So I basically took this and I stripped it down, uh, removed a lot of the settings, and, and that's the code that we have here. That's all you need really for a section in Shopify, a section that accepts blocks. As you can see here, it accepts two types of blocks, that is global theme blocks and app blocks as well. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to install this horizon section to your theme and also how you can install custom blocks to your theme. You may wanna do it on an unpublished theme first, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click edit code for my main theme. And actually I'll also open up the customizer in a new tab. So we have one tab with theme customizer, the visual customizer, and then we also have another tab with our code. You'll also want to have my blog post open. You'll find a link for that in the description of this video. So all we're going to do is actually just copy all of this code. And then in the theme editor here, we're going to go down to the sections folder, click add a new section, and it's going to be a liquid section. And you can call this horizon section or maybe another name that makes sense to you. It doesn't really matter. You can name it how you want. Hit done it's going to generate some basic code here, which you want to completely delete. And now everything that you copied from here, you're going to paste it in here and hit save. Now you have a section that you can use in the theme customizer. That's how easy it is to install a custom section to your store. Although one thing that you may want to keep in mind is that whenever you update your theme to like a newer version of your theme, 
you need to reinstall any custom sections that you added as well as any custom blocks. Now I just refreshed the page and also I'm just on a product page. So let's go ahead and add a section and we should be able to see the horizon section in this list. So there we go, these are all my custom sections and we have horizon section. Now inside of this, you will have the AI block generator already available. So just hit generate and you can go ahead and start generating custom blocks. However, if you decide to purchase perhaps one of my custom blocks or from somewhere else and you want to install that to your theme, here's how you do that. Scroll down a bit on my blog and you'll find the code for this hello world block, which is just for testing, right? It doesn't do anything. It just says hello world. And back in your files here, inside this blocks folder, click add a new block. And it's exactly the same process as adding a section. Hello world.liquid done delete all that code and then you're going to paste in that code that you got from my blog and save and what's happening here is that we also have rather than just settings we also have blocks as we have the same in the section right so we have blocks here and which blocks are allowed to be inside it right so here these are the block types that are also allowed to be inside of this block so block nesting, that's how that works. And we have content for blocks, which outputs the HTML. And now inside of here, when you click add block, you should be able to see this hello world block, right? So you can see it's very easy to add custom sections and to add custom blocks to your theme. Just create a new file and paste in the code. That's all there is to it. Very soon on my store, shop.ed.codes, I'm going to be adding plenty of horizon compatible blocks here and not just horizon but you know what i'm calling horizon era any theme that accepts global theme blocks and for example let's add another block one of my blocks the breadcrumbs block this is what you see if you purchase a block from me you get some instructions and then you get the code itself so you just click copy here again go into your theme editor add a new block call it edbreadcrumbs.liquid clear this out and then paste in the code. Now we're going to refresh here. And now inside of this section, click add block. And you'll see that we also have the breadcrumbs block, which is available. And it will be all of my blocks, all of my custom blocks will be under this custom heading, right? So there we go. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, shop.ed.codes. If you're looking for custom blocks or sections for your Shopify theme, let me know in the comments what kind of blocks you might want for your theme. Uh, and if you have any questions about getting this installed, if you have any issues, let me know.